Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. We're going to be making this flay and a monostrap dress with a trumpet sleeve. -da 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 -da. That's what we'll be doing today. And I'll be using three yards of Ankara to make mine. You might be needing more than that because it's a short dress for me. So the measurements you're going to be working with are the full length of the dress. We'll be needing the shoulder measurement and the sleeve length. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Come on, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, click the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section. Now, let's move to the cutting table. Welcome back. Now, my fabric is folded with um, a double flay. Since my tutorials these days have been all about flair, 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 and I don't want you to miss out. So, if you are yet to watch my tutorial on how to call different types of flair, please do that. The link is on the description. So, I have folded my double flair, and the first thing I need to get is the shoulder measurement divided by two because I have folded a double flair. If I if I'm um, working on a single flare, it means I'll be measuring my shoulder measurement, but this is a double flare. So shoulder divided by two is seven inches, which I have gotten here. Then my length is 35 inches, which is from this point. I already mark out my 35 inches. Here is my 35 which is the length. So we can either cut this out first. Always cut behind your check. Okay, before I start receiving comments on why, why, why do you have to cut behind your check? That's because even if you have any um alterations or you make any mistake the fact that you still have enough length will cover up for that so it's just as simple as that all right we're going to cut this part as well which is the shoulder now i am going to measure out the ham hole and the ham hole length is 8.5 inches if i'm working with a single flare I will have to confirm if on this point of 8.5 inches, if it would be enough to take um, my bust circumference measurement. But since this is a double flare, of course, it will be enough. So I'm good to go. To carve out my ham hole, what I'm going to do is, we see that this is more like um, an A-line shape. So it's not like I'm going to follow that line to cut out my ham hole. But I'll have to bring it straight down. You know, I think I need to work with my ruler. Just, okay, so you can see. Just like this. So we need that straight line. Then, of course, we know we come up by 1.5 inches then we can carve out a ham hole just like this i am going to open it up for us to see this is what we have then i'm going to still measure the neck design to get the neck design you can work with same measurement for both the front and the back because it's a monostrap flay dress. If you're working um, with your normal straight, um, your basic measurement, which is your normal straight dress, you can either cut the back um, neckline differently and also the front neckline differently. Now I'm going to measure the width of three inches. You can go with 2.5. You can go with um, 3.5 or even 4 inches. And I'll be working with the depth of 4 inches. And this is going to give me a round shape, just like this. 
I will be cutting it out like this. This is so simple. Now, if you want your mono strap facing the, the right hand side, you can go ahead and do that. If you want it on the left hand side, you can still go ahead and do that as well. Now, because this is going to be the front part and I want mine on the right hand side. If you want it towards the left hand side, that means you'll be coming towards the side. So I'll be going towards the side and what i'll be doing is from this midpoint of my neck i am going to trace it out like this like this like this like this like this bam it's so beautiful and it is so easy to do so let's do that all you just need to do is to connect from your mid neckline just like this like this like this to the ham hole so let's cut it out yeah that is how simple it is if you still want to bring your neckline down you want it deeper than this of course you can do that as well so the next thing I'm going to be cutting is my sleeve, which is the trumpet sleeve. Parara, parara, pam, pam. Camera rolling. Mm. Action. So now to cut our trumpet sleeve, I already cut out. It's more like a basic sleeve, and here I have the length of 14 inches, which is the basic sleeve. And I've carved it out as we can see. Now, from this point, instead of coming in, you know, uh, um, upper, upper arm, your elbow, your wrist, instead of going in like this, so we are going out and we are taking it out as much as you want it to flare out. Just like that, you can continue to, you know, bring it out like this till just go out, depending on how wide. You want it. So what I'll be doing from this very edge, which is our basic length, is to slant to the other edge just like this. And it's as simple as that. So here now is our trumpet sleeve. And if you want to make it um, a flare kind of, you can carve it out, you know, just like that to give it the shape. So I'm cutting out one sleeve and I'll be cutting out like this. There we go, and we are done with the sleeve. Now, on the main dress, I am going to show us how we are going to join. Okay, so on our main dress, remember to slant with one inch, which I am going to do now. And also, the, the um, measurement from the shoulder right to the ham hole, for me, the measurement is 32 inches. So this is how it's going to be just like this. We know it is double. So it's going to be 16. That's divided by 2. 32 divided by 2. So you're going to take it straight. And this is 16. With my same allowance, I'm going to make it 17. That's because I'll still be joining on this part. And I'll be joining here. Now, to connect, I am just going to... Cut it out like this. You can see how it is. So I'm going to trim it out just like that. All the way down. So whatever I have cut here, you can decide to cut it out on the other side as well. That's if you don't really want it to flare out much on this side as well. And if you don't mind, you can just leave it. I am going to leave it the way it is. So now I am going to join the shoulder. I'm going to join the sides. 
and I'm going to turn the neck with my bias. Also the sleeve, first I'm going to fold this base and I'm going to join it straight down before attaching it to the main dress. So I'll do all that, then I'll come back to show us the final result. If you are here to subscribe to the channel, kindly do that now. I mean now, because subscription is free. It is free. So subscribe to this channel right about now.